There are several reasons why people wish to expatriate. Many people have worked for decades in the US and then retired to a foreign nation, where their wealth will continue growing. Others would like to immerse themselves in a new culture by joining the workers and living among the local people. Some remote employees are curious about testing new location. Regardless of your motive, consider yourself fortunate. American expatriates can move abroad considerably easier than other immigrants. However, some countries are undoubtedly far more American-friendly than others. If you enjoy learning about other countries, their cultures, and societies, then you might want to subscribe to our channel, and make sure to turn the notifications on so you won't miss on any of our videos. We have compiled researches of top living variables, including cost of living, requirements for visa, work permits, language obstacles, expat populations, health quality and crime rates to make this list. If you stay till the end of the video, there will be a bonus that you don't want to miss on. Here is our list of Americans' top 10 best countries in 2021. 10. New Zealand. New Zealand is becoming a major American destination. Any young adult with about $3,000 in the bank can apply for a working holiday visa. This visa, quite similar to Australia's working vacation visa allows foreigners to live for 12 months in the country. You can study for six months or work throughout the year. It is more challenging for people over 30, but still achievable. You probably have to work with a New Zealand firm, be a qualified worker, or have money to invest. The New Zealand economy is strong and a variety of investment opportunities are available in the fields of real estate, biotech, agriculture and more. The cost of living in the list is slightly higher than in some other countries. It will cost about the same living in Auckland as in Seattle. However, there are tremendous benefits to New Zealand families, like subsidized healthcare, a world-renowned balance of work and life, and a blend of cities and environment. New Zealand is also ranked second safest country on earth by the Global Peace Index 2019 and one of the world's greatest education systems, the USA came in 128th. In big cities such as Auckland and Wellington there are small foreigners communities, although not as established as other countries. 9. Germany. Germany's top-level education system, economic stability, universal healthcare and low working hours have made it the main candidate for relocation to Europe. You can get residency via learning, obtaining jobs or investing. Financial stability is necessary and culture is expected to be absorbed. Moving to Germany involves a substantial assimilation investment. If you want to work and live, you must learn German and integrate their culture and bureaucracy. The award is a fantastic standard of living, strong employment options and some of the world's lowest working hours. More than 100,000 Americans live in Germany, so that you may pretty simply discover an expat community when you live in a city. Germany has a low crime rate and a high percentage of employment. It is reasonably easy to secure a residency permit if you plan to live and work in Germany, yet bureaucracy can be somewhat intimidating. You have to find valid healthcare in Germany and demonstrate your financial stability. If you wish to stay permanently, you need a regular five-year residency, German language skills, and an integration course. 8. Mexico. Mexico is one of America's simplest countries to move into. It is also the most popular, currently home to more than a million Americans. For decades, Cancun, Puerto Vallarta and San Miguel de Allende have been retired American strongholds. Investors pump money into seaside towns. Even millennia start residing and building homes throughout the land. When you arrive in Mexico, you will acquire a six-month renewable tourist visa and applying for a residency is simple. You only have to show for temporary residency that you've paid $2,000 every month for the last six months. For four years you can renew the visa and then become a permanent resident. You can even speed up this procedure by putting some pesos in the right hands. Mexico itself is an unbelievably diverse gorgeous country. Beaches, mountains and towns of different kinds and sizes exist. Expats are simple to find around the country. The crime rate is, however, relatively high, even higher than in the US. The patriarchy of machismo is corrupt and always waging a war with the drug cartels. It's quite easy to stay to safe locations, but you may want to explore a little bit further to see where your dollars go after they are converted to pesos. 7. Australia. Australia is a vast and varied country. 
It has everything you can need from gorgeous beaches to wild wildlife to modern cities. Most people speak English, thus there is no barrier to language. There are expats in the big towns and Australians are very open, so making friends here can be easier than in some other nations. You can apply for eight or nine different visas that are quite accessible to employees and investors. The education and healthcare systems are good and the booming economy lacks skills that make it easier to get local jobs than most countries. A permanent residence visa may be obtained through family, work, business, investment or retirement. The cost of living is equal to the United States and is therefore one of the most costly countries on the list. But the primary impediment is the distance for most people who want to migrate. The shortest flight you can hope to obtain is 15 hours and 20 to 30 hours, for the most part. It's costly to get back and forth, and you can't bring you much. If you don't want to separate yourself a little from the US, Australia is an excellent choice. But if you hope that your relatives and friends come to visit you, you may wish to choose another hemisphere. 6. The Czech Republic. The Czech Republic, commonly known as Czechia, is a lovely country with huge growth. The capital, Prague, is now Europe's sixth most visited city. It has been a popular city over the past two decades with budget travelers. But now that the economy is thriving, this hotspot of the European Union attracts increasingly more individuals. The relative ease of obtaining a visa, work permit is one of the great draws. Their freelancing visa makes it easy to move and work there. You only need evidence of money, about $5.500 US dollars, health insurance and a check business plan. For digital nomads and entrepreneurs, that makes it an excellent European alternative. The language barrier may be a problem, particularly outside Prague. You'll need to learn some Czech. Real estate prices have surged rapidly over the past five years, with some cities affected by housing shortages. Czechia may not be perfect if you want to invest or retire. 5. Canada. Canada has the greatest overall quality of living in the Americas. Their main cities, Toronto, Vancouver, and Calgary typically score high as some of the most livable cities in the world. They have a solid social healthcare system, strong education, and some of the most beautiful nature in the world. The best cities may be extremely costly, and the process of integration is more complex than relocating south of the border. You'll need a job offer to acquire a work visa unless you were a student in the past 12 months. One of the primary charms of Canada is its devotion to inclusion and diversity. That is part of the reason people who feel excluded in the US have started moving to cities in Canada. 4. Thailand. For decades, Thailand has been a major tourist destination. The Thai people and government are friendly and welcoming to strangers, and its low living costs have made it a place for backpackers. In recent years, however, nomads in Thailand have begun establishing their home base, because of their ideal location in Southeast Asia, low cost and a strong community of expats. Bangkok and Chiang Mai are the most famous cities there and have a large community of foreigners. But Thailand is a large country with many cities if you want to get even more bang for your buck somewhere. 3. Singapore. Singapore is consistently named one of the best places for full-time expatriates to live and work. It is relatively easy for employees to obtain a work visa and permanent residence. You'll probably have to get an offer of work in Singapore but once you're there it's one of the best countries in the world to start a business. The education system is first class and almost every crime is a white collar, making it very safe for foreigners on the streets. About 25% of the country's population consists of expatriates, making it easy to assimilate and it's an excellent networking space for international businesses. Singapore's high living standards are both a pro and a con. The country is clean and well organized, but for everything from food to healthcare you have to pay the top dollars. You must be financially well established to live comfortably in Singapore. 2. Argentina. Argentina is South America's second biggest country with a magnificent natural and developing cities. The majority of the expat community resides in Buenos Aires capital. Because of its variety and family culture, the US citizens are pulled into Argentina. Argentina is one of South America's safest countries. Immigration policy is rather liberal, but quite bureaucratic. You have a very welcome retirement visa, but you have to show some business if you want to obtain a temporary residency. After two years of temporary residency, you can become permanent resident. 
Argentina appeals both retired individuals and young people who want to experience the culture of South America. But it is at least a 12-hour trip to the United States or to Europe, which is a big disadvantage if you want to see your family. 1. Montenegro. Since becoming an independent nation in 2006, Montenegro has witnessed a huge growth in tourism and immigration. Its lovely weather, ancient towns, steep mountains, and the Adriatic coastline have made it a favorite resort in the Baltic. Montenegro is also a contender for EU membership, and EU membership may occur by 2025. Montenegro's residence regulations are clear and permissive. You can purchase a property or create a company and hire yourself for temporary residency as an employee. You can become a permanent resident after five years and qualify for a citizenship for another five years. In Montenegro, retirees will find that their US dollars may go a long way. Another reason for its recent popularity increase is the prospect for EU citizenship. As we promised in the beginning of the video, we're gonna share with you few more countries that you should definitely consider if you're going to migrate anytime soon. These countries are Norway, Switzerland, Panama, Paraguay, Ecuador, Brazil, South Korea, and Indonesia, especially Bali. If you think that this video brought you some value, then please like our video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn the notifications on.